Welcome back to N. Rajni Kiran, my YouTube channel. This video is going to talk about the big data analysis using R. This is the new uh, subject uh, today I am going to introduce for you. So before getting into the topic, as an initial concept, I just wanted to talk about what is data and characteristics of data. As we all know, data, in my previous videos, I described about the data in the DBMS concept saying that it is a collection of figures, facts and numbers which when considered as such doesn't have a proper meaning. So here also the data is going to talk about the same thing. It's a collection of figures, facts and numbers. That means we can say them as quantities, characters or symbols. So these are the raw data and this data is taken as an input to the computers and within the computer you are going to perform the process. That means the data is given to the computer in order to do the processing. Processing is nothing but set of actions or operations that we are going to perform on the raw content. And finally, we are going to get an information where we call it as a processed data. So this raw data or processed data can be stored and not only just stored, we can also transmit this particular data or information as a electrical signals and even we can record them on magnetic optical or mechanical recording medias so this is called data now let us focus on characteristics of data as we all know that if we wanted to talk about the characteristics of a person we are going to present those features which helps us to uniquely identify that person in the same way the characteristics of data is going to help us to uniquely identify the data from the collection of data. So, in order to know the characteristics of data, we are going to focus on three points. That is, one, composition, second one is condition and third one is context. So, let me start with the last point called context. So, to know about the context of the data, first we have to focus on from where this data is taken. That means where this data has been generated. That means you are going to focus on the source from which you have taken the data. Second one, for what purpose you have generated this data from that specific source. And the third one, you have to focus on how sensitive is that data is. Once you, if you are going to get the answers for these three questions, then the context of the data is clear for us. Now let us move towards the second point that is condition. Okay, as we said previously, for what purpose we take this data from that specific source? That means you are taking the data for doing some specific task, right? If say suppose I am going to do the task as analyzing the data. So in order to analyze the data, first I am going to pose the question of condition saying that can I use the data which I have taken from the source directly for my analysis or should I need to do any pre-processing steps like cleaning to enhance and enrich the data. Once if you are going to get the answers for these questions then the condition of the data is clear for us. Now let us move to the last point that is composition. Composition deals about the structure of the data. That means we are going to focus on what is the source of the data. Secondly. We are going to focus on the granularity, type of the data, nature of the data. Once if you are going to get the answers for these questions, then the structure of the data is fine and then we are clear about the composition of the data. Now, in the context, we will know what is the source of the data. And when we move to the condition and all, we will come to know the type of the data. And moving to the point of nature of the data means we are going to focus on whether the data is static, that means there will be no change in the data, it will be fixed throughout the task or am I dealing with the real time data which will be dynamic, dynamic in sense which changes through time. So this talks about the nature of the data. Now the leftover point is granularity. Granularity means a piece of data is called as a granule. There can be a minor piece or there can be a major piece. These minor pieces or, or major pieces can be called as a minor granules or major granules. These minor granules are combined together to form the major granules. Say for example, if I wanted to know the overall sale in my supermarket, I am going to focus on the major granule, they are saying the summarized content. I can say it as a major granule. 
Let's say, suppose if I wanted to detect any fraud that has happened in my supermarket, then I'm going to focus on each and every bit of the data that is there available for me. Then I can say that one is as a very minute granule. So once we know about the source, granule, type and nature of the data, then the structure of the data is clear and we are done with the composition of the data. Once the composition, condition, context is there available, then I can characterize the data with all perfection and uniquely identify it from the collection of data. So this is all about the data, characteristics of data. Thank you for watching this video.